Right. Hey. Well, Liana barely has any stamina because she's got so many things activated. It is sometimes so hard to believe that you have been through so much at such a young age. I think I look younger than I am. Yes, oh. yes, that is possible. When I was your age, I was just about ready to take on my first apprentice. In hindsight, <laughs> perhaps I should have waited a few more years. I was arrogant, my confidence bolstered by my youth. It is so hard to imagine seeing you now. Oh, I've had some two decades or so to grow mellow. Believe me, back then I was quite prickly. So you are like a fine wine, yes? Losing the raw edges over time. I suppose there is some truth to that analogy, but dear maker, I do hate being compared to wine. Or cheese. <laughs> Especially cheese. Well, Liana's a smooth talker. Comes with being a bard. Mm, not good for anybody, I think. Probably. How old? Oh, uh, the warden is 18? Well, Liana, I thought she might have been like... Early to mid twenties, Alistair is somewhere around that area as well. But between Liliana and Alistair, I'm not sure who would be older. Probably Liliana. She seems to have more life experience with the whole like you know, getting hunted down in Orle and all that. But it's not like Alistair has had it easy either. Oh, I don't like this. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. It's almost too quiet. Something's not right. I can feel it. On my way. But they can probably get me from afar too. That's the bad thing. Right away. Yeah. Okay. We need. To, we need to all go. Oh, guys, guys. Well, Liana, getting pummeled here. As you say. Well, Liana, get the mage from a distance. Everyone else can do everything else. Like. <laughs> You should oh all get God. the mage, too. Win is a good person to have if I'm trying to learn about people. Learn about people's abilities. Because she keeps us healed up and all that. I shall do it. Oh no! We were all in a row. Very not good. Win! Win, you gotta come up a little bit, maybe. Ready. Oh no! I'm gonna heal. I'll heal Liliana. As you say. Because if Winnie goes down, she can come up again by herself. The mage. All right. There we go. It'll probably go by faster if I focus on Wellens, but we gotta learn. It shall be done. <laughs> Hey! Ah. Alistair, don't just stand there and take it! Oh. More cultists? Maybe... Ooh... It actually kind of makes sense that the urn would be with these people though, because if they believe in Andraste, then they should know more than the average person about it. But why are they... Does it actually have some kind of properties then? Like, why are they hiding it or whatever? The Avars. Driving, driven across the frostbacks in ancient times, the Alamari tribesmen split into three groups. One settled the Ferelden Valley, one was pushed into the Korkari wilds, and the last returned to the mountains. Modern Ferelden's bear little resemblance to their Alamari ancestors, and the Chasen remember few of their traditions, but the Avars have changed little throughout the ages. Like the Chasen, the Avars are not a united people. Each tribe fends for itself and is beholden only to its thane. They still follow their own gods, Korth the Mountain Father, Hakon Winter's Breath, the Lady of the Skies, as well as dozens of animal gods never named to outsiders. Nothing lasts in the mountains. Wind and rain eventually eat away the strongest holds. Valleys that were arable, one generation, are locked in year-round ice the next. Game is constantly on the move. Even among themselves, the Avar make no absolute promises. They wed by a tradition in which the groom struggles to untie a tightly knotted rope while the bride sings a hymn to one of the gods. However many knots he has undone by the time her song ends is the number of years she will spend with him. <laughs> Lowlanders often forget 
that there is no such thing as a permanent alliance in the Frostbacks. So they're here? They're in the Frostbacks? Are they the cultists? I want to read a little bit while we're like on the road as well. Just so, oh my god, there's... The elf ones will read back at the camp though. I don't want to get confused by what we're currently doing. Why are there so many rings suddenly? Who is that? They don't have a name yet. Good thing I brought Liliana today, huh? <laughs> and Teven. Oh, Zevrin! I got your Antiven leather boots! Lock it. An antique cameo depicting a beautiful woman with jewels in her hair. Hmm. Locket. Did somebody care about a locket? I feel like we've heard that one somewhere as well. Mage's eye. Nah, dexterity. We haven't even gone to use Marjor Marjolaine's bow yet. But we can't get these. We need higher dexterity. This is somebody's home. <gasps> As you like. Yo, we're like... Our inventory's not doing too hot already. What the hell? Is that a bucket on his... I'll do it. The armor and clothing left on this dismembered man indicate... That he's from Redcliffe. One of Arl Eamon's knights. Oh! That's how we know we're in the right track. Oh. Dismembered. Someone hit him here. They had no cell phones back in the day, so they couldn't call up a knight and be like, Hey, yo. You, you got the urn yet? Where you at, my man? Well, there's a guy over there, so I'm gonna ignore him. He can stand for a little bit longer while I'm just it's done collecting death root in the distance. Do you think Song of Valor is worth having? Because I'm just thinking about the amount of stamina Liliana has. This one is definitely good, suppressing fire. But this one. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want her to maybe chill out a little bit and have more for her own stamina. Oh! No, where is that? Oh, we're leaving! We're leaving? No. I guess we gotta go talk to the strange man here. Who doesn't have a name? Oh. Alright. So between these three, instead of randomly pressing it, which one is the best? Shattering. Normal damage. Oh, reduces armor. That's probably best as the first one. Reduce armor and then keep hitting, right? Reducing movement speed. But if he's so far away, then my other guys can't get to him. Minus attack, minus defense. This is also pretty good. Me ahead. Watch out. You guys, Alistair, freaking go get him, guys. I'll do it. Ah. I can also use below the belt in dirty fighting, but. These ones are more close distance, so yeah. Make it be praised. Gone well. We're going up the mountain. Hey, there's a nut. Ooh. Is that another guy? Cultist archer. Quite a few. Enemies ahead. As you wish. Mm -hmm. This is a strange experience. I'm just watching the two melee guys go up front, but I'm hanging back here. Very well. New perspective though. Never tried it like this before. Yes. So much about trying Alistair, right? No, I'm gonna try everybody today. Alistair, why are you Oh, I guess because he's defensive. He's staying close to me. Like me, the player, he's staying close to the player character. Which I guess is... I just want you to keep attacking what you're attacking. That's all. It sounds like they are singing the chant in there. Maybe we should have a look.
Liliana, if we see instances of people making strange interpretations of Andraste and the Maker, are you gonna be okay? I don't know what we're gonna see in here. Haven Chantry. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far? Yeah, I killed like 20 people. <laughs> Enough! We're well past pretending this village is normal. Perhaps. But staying hidden means staying protected. And we must protect Haven and our charges at all costs. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. We her is Andraste? I can't think of any other hers. Okay, well, wow, this guy loved talking to us, huh? That was fast. I, I can do walk so. Softly here. So we gotta be careful then, because Liliana is in close distance and someone is behind us. Which is not good. Ah! Oh! Let's hurry up and kill this guy. Freaking guy oh. doing your AoE attacks. I need more AoE people too. Feels like we don't have very many of those. Always comes to this, doesn't it? Don't touch Liliana. Uh, that guy's freaking frozen. Must it always be more Alistair, killing. quit talking crap. Just attack. Oh, that was fantastic. Cultus Medallion, bearing the symbol of Andraste. Symbol of Andraste. They're talking all about how they're laying low so they can protect... They can do their duty to protect her. They're laying low by immediately attacking me as soon as I come here. Wow, that's laying so low. Oh, where are you going, Liliana? Small silver bar. Ring of Faith. Plus 10% fire damage. Wind doesn't have any fire attacks. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is... This is a bad omen. I feel like this is a bad omen. I don't think any cultists will be willing to start a shop and trade with me. <laughs> Didn't even need Liliana for that, did I? Oh! Brother Jenny TV! Hold on, there's a chest. <laughs> oh, look, an axe! Uh, I mean... Brother Jenny TV! Who are you? They... They've sent you to finish it. Brother Jenny TV? Yo... You're not one of them, thank the Maker. Are you alright? What do you think? Weeks of scant food and water, the torture. Oh, I've never felt better. So he found traces of the urn to this place? He, he must be right then. Because the people here are crazy. I get the point. Can I do anything for you? <sighs> the leg's not doing so well and I can't feel my foot. When can you help? I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. How do you know? My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. This medallion? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. 
Brother Jenny TV looked into the whole urn business just for academic purposes, right? He doesn't know that we want it for Arl Eamon. Could you answer some questions for me first? All right. What is on your mind? Do you know about the knights who were sent to look for you? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Oh, he knows. Eric said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do but pray those men have found peace. <sighs> Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? Haven, it's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. How did you find out about Haven? Pure luck. I wasn't even looking for any village. I had always assumed that the temple that housed the urn would be lost to time and abandoned. It took years of study to narrow down its location to this range of mountains. Then, completely by accident, I came across an unrelated document that mentioned a village called Haven. What sort of document? It was a hundred-year-old log of the Denerum Chantry's business transactions. Oh? Why would that mention Haven? In it was an account of a dwarven trader who had failed to transport goods from Orzama that had already been paid for. There was a blizzard, and his caravan was turned off the path. They eventually came across a small human village that was not on any map. The trader tried to gain entry to take shelter from the storm. Unfortunately, they were turned away and had to take refuge in a cave. When he woke up that next morning, everyone and everything was gone. He managed to find the road again and, and made it to Denerim, but he never saw the caravan again. That's spooky. What does that have to do with the urn? Not too much. It became clear from the dwarf's story that this village would be near the temple, and it occurred to me that they might know something about the urn, and I decided to find the village myself. And that's how this trouble started. Well, thank goodness you left documentation of where you were going back in your own home. And that fake Waylon was too stupid to destroy it. Thank goodness. But I'm- oh, I'm really sorry to tell you that your- your assistant Waylon is the real one. He's gone. How did you end up here? I was looking for answers. I thought the villagers would know something about the urn. I was right. They do. They're just not willing to share it with outsiders. When I mentioned the urn, Irik assured me he would take me to the temple in the morning. He said a room had been prepared for me. I didn't realize it would be this charming place. What do you know about Haven and its people? They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste, and they are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. That is interesting. Interesting. Is that possible? I'm old enough to know that anything is possible, child. Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? Fair answer. What were the villagers doing with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. They were planning to place a fake Genitivi in Denerum. How do you know? There was an imposter Waylon at your house. An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? I'm sorry, but he's dead. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. Wayland died protecting your research. He believed in me, even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... was there uh, something else you wanted to say? 
Yes. All right. What is on your mind? The ashes will cure all Eamon, won't they? Cure Arl Eamon? Is the Arl sick? What happened? Uh, he only knows that the knights came to look for him, but he doesn't know why. He was poisoned on Loghain's orders. Loghain? Why? Oh, I have been so occupied with the Urn. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the Ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the Ashes are magical, you make them so. I suppose that's possible. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the Ashes, and the Arl is better. That's enough talk for now, I think. Alright, are you ready to go then? Enlighten me about something. Alright. What is on your mind? Just kidding. Alright, are you ready to go then? I think you should return to dinner room. He's not! This is his life's research. He's not gonna miss out on it. This has been my life's work. <laughs> to have come this far, only to have to turn back. I couldn't bear it. You cannot deny him this. We would never have found this place without him. You're right. Absolutely, you're right. Mm. But we are trying to keep him alive, because it's dangerous. He couldn't defend himself. These people trapped him in here. If we didn't come, he'd be dead. I'm trying to keep him alive. I know you have his wealth at heart, but... You can't dash his hopes like this. I will look after him myself. Will that satisfy you? Mm. Wow, she's taking a really strong stance here. Oh, very well. If it means that much to you, Liliana. Oh, thank you, my dear. You certainly know how to warm an old man's heart. It is my pleasure, Brother Genitivi. Shall we get going? I feel like there's a bit of a... Would you call it nepotism? Alistair is definitely thinking, Oh yeah, she's probably listened to Liliana because they're dating now. <laughs> and Liliana feeling so strongly because of the Chantry connection? The religious connection? Okay, fine. Uh, it looks like we could have actually gotten him to go though. But he's the subject matter expert here. So I think having him around will be good for us, but it does put him in a lot more danger, but he does want to go anyway. First, let me make sure it's safe outside. That's wise. There are many more villagers than the ones you've already dealt with. Brother Ferdinand Genitivi, finally meeting the man in the flesh. We've seen his, his name at the bottom of so many Codex entries. Us is the duty of all true sons of the Chantry to make the chant heard from every corner of the world. I've made it my mission to find as many corners of the world as possible. The Maker can hardly expect us to do one without the other. Ooh, we've read this, we've read this. Oh, we read all of it, basically. Yeah, and Brother Genitivi was right about the ashes being in... Um, Ferelden. Yeah. The final resting place of Andraste lay at the summit of a remote mountain. Hmm. We'll read these when we go back to Orzammar. Wow, this is so close to filling out! Oh my god. Okay. Let's... I think it should be okay outside, but we'll... We'll have a look. There might be more people. We killed the main guy already though, right? The main father that was here. I didn't get to ask about the revered fathers earlier. Where? Actually, there's nobody here. Yeah, I think we're... Mm, we should be okay. We killed a lot to get here. Okay. I see you're back. Are you ready to go? Yes. Ah, good. Help me up here. I'll try not to slow us down. I wonder if Liliana wasn't here, would anyone else speak this strongly for him coming? Temple. 
Oh, where are we now? How do we get here? I don't know. He knows the way. Who cares? Why do I keep getting caught on the stairs? It's freaking annoying me so much. <laughs> here we are. Give me the medallion and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated just like this. And there, a key to open the way. How did you know how to do that? There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. I bet Brother TV is a better lockpick than Zevran. Whoa. What is that fire? Oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. You need to stay alert now, brother. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. Once we make sure the place is safe, all right? You want to stay here? Is it safe? I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Is there anything else I need to know about the temple? It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. What sorts of dangers are we talking about here? Traps? I'm not sure. The legends were never very specific on that point. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm a believer. We have a believer here, Liliana, but I'm, I'm not sure if my belief is that strong. So it is the wrath of the Maker that strikes men down? That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. <laughs> Very unsexy. <laughs> hmm, cunning. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? Try not to get into trouble. I'll be right here if you need me. Hmm, now I need something to write on. I have a lot of blank vellums in my inventory. Oh, we need to get rid of that. We need to be in our top condition here. Everyone else okay? Liliana, why don't you use some poisons? Liliana, you gotta use the bombs! Yes, let's use some bombs today. How about that? Throne. 80 fire damage. Okay, we can start. Start with these. It's like having a mini Morgan around, except not. <laughs> these are pretty good, though. 80 damage? That's a lot. But we gotta start with it because... Yeah. Friendly fire possible. Brother? You gonna leave? You're back. Have you reached the urn? Oh! <laughs> okay! Well, great. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that because we haven't actually seen it yet. Not yet, but I wanted to discuss something with you. Oh, did you discover something fascinating within the temple? Not yet. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's great. Maker's breath. Look at it all. Did they ever make you learn about Andraste in the Templar teachings? Oh dear. Alistair? As you say, sealed letter. Unbound. Un what that was one of the multiple things that we were trying to get. Wait. The riders follow after every town, ever since my lucky break deciphering the story. 
I see it now, how they take the locals closest to me, preventing rest or kinship. I thought this a road to glory, but I am dogged at every step. By mm, no, 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 we have seen this. You asked, so I'm telling. Don't go. The stories talk of the riches, but never the names, never where they supposedly spent their wealth. I heard the same tales as a lad in Denerim, felt the same pull, but it's a lie, son. They may paint the trail, but once you're on it, does it lead to the beast or back to you? Never even got to send it. People. People. Not Leave exhaust me. our supplies. You both <sighs> are hands. What does the range look like? It's. Ah, Wallace is gonna die! Wallace is gonna die. Okay, next time. I have to walk with Liliana. Mm -hmm. But people, these humans are pretty weak. Even Alistair is doing okay. Oh, how much do you want to bet there's a whole bunch of codex stuff here? Paper. A long stick used to light candles. Okay. Very well. Discovering dragon's blood potions. Win, you like reading, right? Potions, tinctures, and spicy sauces. Private documents. Okay, we... Our... I don't like how our inventory looks right now. We're in the beginning of this place. Win. Oh, marvelous. Alistair. Did you like... I know you have some... Oh, Liliana. Liliana's already 100. Oh, Andrasi's Grace again. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's probably also for her. You want Onyx Demon Statuette? Alistair? Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. Don't, don't be like that. Oh, yes, yes, we gotta keep doing this stuff. Yes. Wow, there's actually no codex entries. That's somewhat surprising. Okay, now we have seen there are people causing trouble here. Do they live here? Normally? And I assume this temple is massive. It already feels massive, just looking around. What the heck is that? A candle? Weird dead end. Why is there a weird... Oh, alright. Great. Okay. Are they coming? They're on the mini-map. I never look at the mini-map. It's too small. It's too many. Liliana? <gasps> okay. Books. Oh, I would love to spend a day here. When? That's how they get you. We gotta be careful. It's not very well maintained, though. These icicles. Moisture. That's right bad for away. books. Saw sword. It's not better than what Alistair has right now. No, because this is actually 10.4. Ancient encrypted scrolls. Forgotten verses. Find someone who can decipher the strange scrolls. It's in a language I can't decipher. Maybe Brother Genitivi. Nose? That's blood. The old gods. Dumont, the dragon of silence. Zazakel, the dragon of chaos. Toth, the dragon of fire. I feel like all dragons are dragons of fire. Am I wrong? Andoral, the dragon of slaves. Urthemiel, the dragon of beauty. Razakel, the dragon of mystery. Lusican, the dragon of night. There were seven old gods. 
great winged dragons that were said to rule over the ancient world. The Chantry maintains that they are responsible for the original sin, that they turned humanity away from its true creator through deceit. Humanity's faith faltered, and thus, the Maker turned away from the world, but not before trapping the old gods in eternal prisons beneath the earth as punishment. Scholars assume that the old gods must have indeed been real at one point, but most agree that they likely were actual dragons, ancient high dragons, a magnitude not known today, and impressive enough to frighten ancient peoples into worshipping them. Some even claim that these dragons slumber as a form of hibernation, not as a result of the Maker's wrath. Regardless of the truth, legend maintains that even from their underground prisons, the old gods were able to whisper into the minds of men. The Archon Thousian, first of the Magisters, who claimed to have contacted the old god Dumat, used the blood magic Dumat taught to him to attain incredible power into Vinter and declare himself the ruler of an empire. In return, he established the first temples worshipping the old gods, and the dragons became equated everywhere with imperial power. See, I thought dragons weren't supposed to be sentient, but this old god guy definitely was, right? Because he taught the guy magic. Four of the old gods are said to have risen as corrupted archdemons. Dumont, the first and the most powerful, was slain at the Battle of Silent Fields. Zazakiel fell at the Battle of Stark Haven. Toth died at the Battle of Hunter Fell. And Endora was felled by Garahel, the legendary Grey Warden, at the Battle of Aesley. The Archdemons have been identified only after years of argument among scholars, and to this day, it is unclear whether the Archdemons were truly old gods and not simply dragons. All that is known is that the Darkspawn hunt for them deep underground. If they are truly the old gods, as many scholars believe, then we have only three Blights remaining. When all the old gods have risen and been slain, however, what will happen? Will the Blights end forever? And humanity earn forgiveness from the Maker at last? We shall see. We're only halfway through, we're not even like at the end. So by... Uh, we should be on this one then. Urthamiel, the Dragon of Beauty. If we look at that order anyway. Hmm. Well, I think a lot of the... It's beautified. This whole... the lore is beautified and exaggerated by a lot of people over the years. How do we even know the names of the dragons anyway? Did they tell us? I don't know what's... Pff, which one is the new one? The creatures, these demons, require little in the way of bribery. Their natural state is one of longing for the world of flesh and blood. This is what you offer them. Respite from their eternal search for true life. Engage them in a battle of wills, and you will be successful. Should you fail, the power will be yours, but your body will belong to the demon. Relish this infernal power while it lasts, for once you are an abomination, your demon half will soon swallow your mind. Hmm. Okay, let's bomb. Let's bomb some people. Also because I gotta get rid of bombs, so we have inventory... We'll have free space in my inventory, so let's try a... Let's try a firebomb. Wait, so for some reason, for some reason these are just locked? This one is locked? No message! No key required, nothing. Oh. Don't archer me. Guys, come in and attack. I shall do it. Bah! Firebomb! Shock bomb! It did it. It did something. It shall be done. It wasn't nothing. It actually might even be better than Liliana just attacking by herself normally, because 80 damage is a lot again. I shall do it. Let's get the archer guy upstairs. Oh, fantastic. Who's here? Who's making sounds? Was that Alistair? Why does Alistair talk so much in battle? Oh. Very well. 
More salves? Salves are useless. Oh, where, where'd you come from? On it. Ah! Yes, just use those abilities. Oh, indomitable. I love it. Well, let's just use them. Spam those skills. It is done. Doors that are on it. Openable. With a fallen knight. Armor of Diligence. That might be better than what Alistair has right now. Actually, it's comparing it right now. Um, there is health regeneration. Oh, it is better because plus two armor. But he can't wear it. His strength is not high enough. Come on, Alistair, just a little bit more. Okay, there's people. You can see on the mini map already. There's people here. <gasps> okay. Uh, that's new. That is new. Everyone, stay back. Really? Not alone. Don't let them get to win and and Liliana. That's all I ask for. Okay, not so bad. I shall do so. Did we get a codex entry for that? What is that? We do get one. I'll read it in a sec. Hold up. As you say, you should be fine. Yes, resisted. I think we work well together. You all right? What is that thing? No! Yes, Shriek. Shriek was new too. Scholars call these tall, lean, dark spawn the Sharlock, though they are more popularly known as Shrieks because of the ear-splitting cries they emit in battle. Many tales exist of soldiers being unnerved by the sounds of approaching Shrieks, cloaked in darkness and never seen until the moment they strike. As horrors of the night, Shrieks are renowned for their incredible speed and agility, as well as their stealth. They are the assassins of the Darkspawn, penetrating the enemy lines and striking their targets using long, jagged blades attached to their forearms to rip their opponent to shreds in seconds. They have been known to employ poison, often draw from their own blood, and have demonstrated cunning group tactics when attacking in numbers. Bronto. There's only two things a noble will step aside for, paragons and angry Brontos. Hey, see, now we have a context for what paragon means. If we did this first, we wouldn't have. So, hey, small things. This hulking beast was originally bred by the dwarven shape rate as a beast of burden and food source, the rough equivalent to surface oxen and cows. Some versions of Bronto have been even developed as dwarven mounts, valued far more for their sure-footedness and stamina than for their speed. While present within Orzammar in large numbers, some Bronto still exist in packs within the deep roads, having returned to a wild state after the fall of the Dwarven Kingdoms. They require remarkably little sustenance, consuming organic material from water, fungus, and even rocks, hence the rock liquor appellation used by many dwarves to describe Bronto, and exist in primarily dormant states until provoked. An angry charging Bronto is considered to be a rather dangerous opponent. Dwarven animals? Dwarf-related animals? But these cultists are making use of them because they, well. they exist in the mountains, I guess? 